You are welcome to the electrical wiring program. This is an overview of the electrical wiring program so far. In this presentation, we will focus on purpose of the law, main provisions of the law, implementation guidelines, training of electricians, how to locate electricians, what landlords need to know, and the monitoring and inspection. Before 2012, there was no regulation to regulate conduct of electrical professionals in Ghana. The Parliament of Ghana passed the Electrical Wiring Regulation LI 2008 in 2011 and it came into force in 2012. Now the law seeks to achieve two things, the safety of life and property. Safety of life from the risk of electric shock or electrocution and then property from the risk of electric fire. The law focuses on three thematic areas and I call them the who, the how and the what. Who does the electrical wiring? How he or she does the electrical wiring? And what type of material he or she uses to do the electrical wiring? The Energy Commission of Ghana was given the mandate to implement the law. In the implementation of the law, the Energy Commission developed a guideline and the guideline addresses the following examination, certification, training, implementation and monitoring. The following slides explain this. Examination. There are two forms of certification, the Certified Electrical Wiring Professional and the Certified Electrical Wiring Inspector. The Certified Electrical Wiring Professional is in three categories, domestic, commercial, and industrial. For domestic, it covers domestic houses or residential facilities with single-phase electrical supply. The commercial covers hospitals, schools, hotels, and malls. Industrial covers industries where things are manufactured. And in both cases, it can be single-phase or three-phase. To become a certified professional, you are required to pass an objective test, an oral interview, and a practical assessment. For inspectors, there are two categories, the Certified Electrical Wiring Inspector and the Certified Electrical Wiring Professional Inspectors. Now, the Certified Wiring Inspector can, can do all type of electrical certification jobs, whilst the Certified Electrical Wiring Professional Inspector is limited to electrical inspection and testing for service applications only. Successful applicants are issued electrical installation completion certificates, stamps and identification cards. Since the inception of the program, the Energy Commission has certified over 9,000 certified electrical wiring professionals and 154 certified electrical wiring inspectors. These are spread across the country. There are two forms of training for electricians, the pre-training and the post-training. The pre-training is organized by institutions recognized by the Energy Commission. They prepare applicants for the electrical wiring examination. Post-certification training is organized by Energy Commission recognized trainers. Successful applicants are required to undergo training within the period of their certification. This serves as a prerequisite for renewal of their certificate. Where can I get a certified electrician? You can get a certified electrician by downloading the certified electrician app from Google's Play Store or Apple Store. You can also get a certified electrician by downloading the list of certified electricians from the Energy Commission's website. You can also get a certified electrician next door. The next door electrician could be a certified electrician. All you need to do is to demand for his certification and then you can also confirm his certification by using the Certified Electricians app. So what is the landlord expected to do? The landlord is expected to engage a Certified Electrician. The Certified Electrician number one will assess the job and produce an estimate. The Certified Electrician when given the contract will do the installation. After completion, the Certified Electrician would invite a certified electrical wiring inspector. 
The inspector, upon inspection and testing of the electrical installation done by the certified electrician, will now endorse the installation. This is done by appending his stamp and signature on the electrical completion certificates. The landlord submits the completed certificates to ECG or NETCO to initiate the service application process. Landlords who fail to engage the services of a certified electrician will go through a laborious service application process. Monitoring. The Energy Commission conducts periodic monitoring of electricians and utilities to check for compliance. Minor violations are referred to the disciplinary committee and an electrician could be penalized. Furthermore, all violations are referred to the law enforcement agencies. An electrician could be fined, jailed or both. The law requires periodic inspection and testing of buildings. Every three to five years after 10 years of the initial installation and finally, every two years after 30 years of service. In conclusion, you should use a CUWP because they are trained and regulated. They are mandated to use only approved electrical materials. They can be traced. You pay less and no wahala for service application. This brings us to the end of my presentation. Until we meet again, thank you.